The terms short and long are frequently used to describe value chains. We prefer simple and complex to describe the type of value chain. Simple chains are generally less complicated than longer complex value chains, as they involve fewer actors to get the product from the farm to the end user. There are also usually fewer activities in the chain and minimal, if any, processing from start to finish. Value chains for most unprocessed fresh fruits and vegetables are generally simpler than value chains for meat and grain. Meat and grain value chains are usually more complex because they are often transformed significantly from the original commodity product. This includes processing and manufacturing before being distributed to retailers and ending up in the shopping baskets of consumers. Consider two examples, apples and wheat, to better understand the concept of simple versus complex value chains. To demonstrate the case of a simple chain, I will use a popular one here in Australia, the Pink Lady Apple, which is grown domestically and available nearly all year. In fact, here in Adelaide, we have very simple value chains for many varieties of apples that are grown in the Adelaide Hills, just outside of our city. This is the case with the Pink Lady. An apple grower will source rootstock from a nursery, selecting healthy varieties suitable for local climate and soil profiles. After growing the trees and harvesting the apples from them, the Pink Ladies are transported to a local cooperative, which adds value through sorting, grading, providing cold storage, and minimal packaging for distribution. Apples are then transported to a wholesaler who gets involved in the distribution and transport to the retail market. Finally, the apple is purchased by the consumer. In the case of these fresh apples, there is minimal processing or transformation of the product, which keeps the value chain simple. Because the apples are grown locally, the chain is also short. While we are lucky to have locally grown apples here in Adelaide, you may not have access to fresh locally grown apples. Your apples may be imported or travel long distances and exchange ownership several times before landing in your local market. Fresh apple value chains can also be long despite remaining relatively unprocessed. This is because of the transportation and distribution potentially into international markets. Now consider the more complex value chain for another agricultural commodity that you have probably consumed in one form or another, wheat. A wheat producer will source seed from an input supplier and sow a crop. After harvest, the wheat will leave the farm and could follow a few different pathways. One option is that the wheat could pass through a handler and spend time in storage. It may then move on to be milled into flour and the flour may go to an industrial baker, food manufacturer for further processing and packaging. Several steps of transformation may then take place before the product ends up on shelves for shoppers or is made into bread, pastries, breakfast cereals or pasta. Clearly, thanks to the numerous stages of transformation, this value chain is a complex one. You have learnt about the basic actors along the chain, which are involved in producing, transforming and bringing products to end users through a set of coordinated activities. You have also seen the difference between simple and complex value chains. Later in this course, you will have the chance to build a value chain and see examples in a little more detail.